But I'm pleased now to welcome to our studio Paul Evans, who has been uh, just a massive uh, pillar in, in bringing this uh, great fundraiser to Huntsville. Um, you know, alongside, uh, we'll get into it later, but Ross Kerwin was a, a big supporter yeah. of this as well. Um, you've taken this this uh, project and run with it, Paul, and, and tell me about the, what is happening this weekend with this project. Well, it's been a, it's been a great dream of uh, Ross Kerwin, who passed away in spring, and uh, his vision was to build a four-season sports pad uh, up at Lions Lookout you know, to help youth and what have you, especially after COVID. And so this event this weekend is to raise funds for that vision. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're extremely excited. The, the business community is, uh, has been unbelievably supportive uh, of this initiative. And uh, also it's just nice to get the community back out and have some fun. Tell and me about the event, because we actually haven't said what the event is yet. Well, the, the, <laughs> it, it, it's called Maple Leaf Alumni uh, hockey night in Huntsville yep. and a group of uh, uh, alumni or ex Maple Leafs will be there to play a select group of, uh, of our community members and uh, uh, it, it, it's going to be a fun night. Uh, we're going to have uh, the Timbits at the first intermission. Mm -hmm. We're going to have the Muskoka Sting playing uh, the Maple Leafs and uh, uh, a lot of other shenanigans. Uh, will interact this whole program yes. and uh, uh, people will have a chance to get autographs and uh, uh, yeah it's uh, it's proving to be a, f a fun event and uh, in fact last night uh, we had a call from friends of ours that said oh they're sold out of tickets and so we had to to phone will and quickly change that so <laughs> tickets can be got online through rotary or uh, our Platinum sponsor, Tulloch, if you go online to Tulloch Engineering, and uh, you'll be able to get tickets through them. Or you can get them at the door. And from what you're telling me, they're going fast, apparently. They're going fast. So might want to get them before they actually run out. Yeah, and uh, the LEAF organization brings all sorts of swag, T-shirts, uh, signed Maple Leaf jerseys. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe the jerseys are going to hand out to a, a lucky, uh, you know, hockey player. Yep during the intermission. So yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be a fun event. I'm going to test your knowledge here. Can you tell me all the players that are going to be showing up? Well, uh, there's, well, obviously Wendell Clark, yep. uh, Rick Vive, Gary Lehman, um, uh, Duoust, uh, and uh, I can't and a whole remember bunch the more. other ones, a whole bunch more, <laughs> but it's a, uh, it's a group of, uh, very accomplished leaf players mm -hmm. and, uh, 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 apparently they're just a barrel of fun to be around and I'm sure the kids will have a, a great time in interacting with them Last and uh, yeah so the the turnout from the community and the, the reception we've got so far has been fabulous so. last time we talked about this I, I correct me if I'm wrong did you say that the mayor is going to be playing uh, against them in well this? unfortunately <laughs> the mayor has uh, uh, somewhat of an injury. Oh, okay. So okay. I, I apologize well, for that. She, convenient she, timing. She, she, she was going to be. <laughs> she was going to be a part of this right up to the last minute. Yes. Um, but unfortunately, she's not going to be playing. But okay. she will be there. Yes, of course. Uh, yeah. Dara Howell, yep. our, our uh, gold medalist, mm -hmm. will be there, and she's going to be an assistant coach on the bench. Wow. Okay. And, and a, a gold medal Olympian uh, coaching a hockey team yeah. sounds like a good time. And uh, yeah, she's she's excited to be there. Wow. And she's going to pick the 50-50 ticket. We're okay. running a 50-50 draw. Yep. Uh, obviously, half the proceeds will go towards the, this sports pad uh, initiative. So, yeah, it's a, there's going to be chuck-a-puck after the first period for the kids. Yep. And, yeah, uh, come out and enjoy. It sounds like a fun time. Yeah. Let's shift gears to the focus of this fundraiser, back to the sports pad, because, as you said... Um, the late great Ross Kerwin. This was one of his his big hopes to have this in our community. Yes. There was some movement, as we discussed, to have uh, at Lions Lookout a, an ice pad. Uh, what two years ago? Last yeah. year, I think it was. Last year um, there was a skating. Yes, last uh, year surface, and it was well received. Yes, um, but th as you're saying, this is you would like a more permanent setup. So tell me about this. Yeah. Uh, th you know, I think uh, much like the other small communities, uh, you know, Novar, 
Magnetowan, they all have outdoor ice surfaces. Mm -hmm. I, I grew up playing on a pond, so there, I mean, it's a quintessential Canadian experience to be playing hockey on a pond, mm -hmm. being outside. So, you know, we used to have one uh, at where the Montessori school was, but that's, uh, was torn down five or six years ago. So yeah, we definitely need an outdoor sports uh, facility that uh, kids can play hockey on in the winter, lacrosse, uh, basketball in the summer and can be used for other events as well and uh, yeah I mean it's a great location for it in amongst the the trees and the rocks so uh, we would love to see it up there. Fantastic uh, I'm very excited about this it's going to be as you said a very interesting uh, Saturday night I think for everybody to be able to check this out uh, let's talk again about, uh, the timing and everything. So six thirty, I think you said to six, six thirty. Yep. Um, this Saturday night mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, I believe doors open at, at six o'clock. Mm -hmm. Um, but, but the, the Leafs are on for a practice at six thirty. So come on out and enjoy. Mm -hmm. And, and as you said, tickets at the door, but uh, maybe better to get them now ahead of better time. Better to get them online. But yeah. there, there will be tickets at the door. Yep. Um, again, it's become a very popular event and for all kids and families alike. Fantastic. So come on out and enjoy. Oh. And I should, I should do a shout out to uh, uh, Devon Lee Homes. Uh, and I think this is important because they've purchased 400 tickets. And we're wow. distributing distributing those amongst schools and minor hockey. That's and, amazing. Uh, they've really, you know, stepped up to the plate, and they're a very good, uh, you know, corporate community sponsor. I love to hear that. Love yeah. to hear that the kids are able to get involved. Cause Absolutely, this is what it's about, right? It is. Uh, Paul Evans with the Rotary Club of Huntsville. Thank you very much for coming in and talking Thank you. about this great project. Again, please take time to get tickets now. They may be gone. Uh, it's a really good opportunity to support such a great community initiative. So once again, thanks, Paul, very much. Thank you.